Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Here we'll see how to create this bling text effect. Well, down here we have created a stateful class which is called bling text. Now, in bling text, actually, we want to pass something as parameters. That's why over here we declared a variable named as string, and this is the one that we want to pass from over here. And at the same time, this is the text that we want to animate our blink over here. Now, to be able to do that, first override the init state method because we want to initialize a timer for it. So here we see that we created a variable show as a true and a timer. And this is the timer that would help us to do the animation. We pass, we create a timer object using this timer.periodic and every 500 milliseconds Actually, we are toggling this Boolean variable, so it will toggle between true and false. And as you see inside this curly braces, we are using set state function to tell the UI that we have a change in our variable. So go ahead and update the UI. So here we have this text widget, and inside this we are grabbing the arguments that that we passed as a parameter over here, like the target, and then we use this and then we use this boolean because we know that this boolean gets between true and false so as it toggles between true and false we either show a text or we show a transparent color which means that there is no text if we have a text we fall to this one and we show it with certain style otherwise we just show it as transparent now with this, this is the time we can pass a parameter over here. So let's come to the scaffold and over here inside body, we can just simply call blink text and inside this we'll send great. Now let's go ahead and run our app and we see that it's over here. And to be able to style it better, we can just wrap around center widget and we see that it comes down. One more last thing, because we created a timer over here, so before we leave the page, we need to dispose it. So to dispose it over here, we just simply go ahead and override the dispose method and we cancel the timer. Let's run it one more time and everything looks great. Thank you so much.